Hey guys, Opti here, and in today's tutorial I will be redoing my uh, physics gun skinning tutorial because last time I did I did not uh, even think to mention that you have to create a TGA file of your skin. So today I'm going to do everything just the same that I did earlier except properly by showing you how to convert it and stuff. I just assumed because I've always done it. So anyway, let's get this started. So what I'm going to have you do first is download the VTF editor. Uh, GCF scape and if you don't have a good editing program or shop just get uh, the GIMP I'll put all three thank you I'll put all three downloads in the sidebar so just look for those whenever I am done so anyway first of all we're gonna go to Steam and we're gonna go file go offline restart in offline mode and to do this or we have to do that in order to get into files from GCF scape for some reason I don't know why but that's just the way it is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open GCF scape Go to File, Open, and then I think it'll bring you to your Steam Apps folder, but we don't know yet. Yet, so we'll go to My Computer, Local Disk C, Program Files, then scroll all the way down from Program Files to find Steam, and then Steam Apps, and then you should be on a page with your username and a thing that says Source Mod and a bunch of big purple blocks. We're gonna go to Source Materials, and in Source Materials you'll see HL2. Double click HL2, double click materials. In here you'll see a bunch of stuff like sprites, models, metal. We're going to go to models. In models, we're going to scroll all the way down and then find weapons. Double click weapons and we're going to take the thing that says VFizz Cannon out of this folder, drag it, and extract it to the desktop. It's not going to take it from that folder, it's just going to make a copy of it. Now we can exit GCF Scape. Now what we're going to want to do is make uh, a TGA version of the thing in there. So we're going to go to All Programs and then find VTF Edit and open VTF Edit. Click File, Open, and then go to your desktop and find VFizzKin. And it's all the way at the bottom. It says VFizzKin and Sheet, and it's a texture file. It will look like this. Just go to File, Export, and then TGA File to just the VFizz Cannon area. We're going to hit save. Bammo. There we go. Let's go to our editing program. Go to file, open. And you should be on your desktop. So let's go to VFizz Cannon and then find the Fizz Cannon sheet, the TGA file. On mine it says Paint Shop Pro file. First what we're going to do is we're going to resize the image. And then what we're, we're going to resize it to is 1024. This will make the image twice as large as it is now. And then we're going to go adjust and then sharpness, sharpen more. This just makes the image more clear, or, or I guess, to say. If you're on the GIMP, it'll be in like image or edit, sharpen more. And I'm going to edit this sheet, and I will get back to you whenever I'm done. Okay, guys, I am back, and I have my skin that I have redone. It'll say it mine's called Marvel Redux Physics Gun Skin. Cause the first version of this the first version of this sucks. Anyway, so I have this. I'm gonna go to file save as so you go back to my thingy. I go V underscore super fizz cannon underscore sheet. And we're going to save it, the type, as a TGA type. So True Vi Vision Tarja. Save. It'll ask, if we, it'll ask us if we want to replace it. Just click Yes. And then click Yes because of I have layers. We're going to minimize that. Minimize this. Minimize this. And then in this VTF area, we're going to go to File. Import. Super, or the, the V Fizz Cannon thing. We're going to open. Hit OK. And then once it's open, we're going to go to File, Save As. In the same area, I'm just going to save it as V underscore Superfizz Cannon underscore Sheet and hit Save. It'll ask me if I want to replace it, and I'm just going to click Yes. <coughs> so I'm going to exit the VTF area. My Fizz Cannon thing is right here on my desktop, along with my Gmod shortcut, which everyone should have. But I'll walk you through on how to get to your Gary's Mod folder so you can use that Fizz Cannon gun. So we're going to go to Start. My computer. 
local disk C or OS C for Vista users. Program files. Scroll all the way down until you find Steam. Steam apps. Your username. Gary's mod. Gary's mod. Click on the materials folder. Click on the models folder. And then in models, you should have a weapon or a, a file called weapons. But if you do not have a folder called weapons, make that folder right now. I'm gonna open that. I'm going to, I'm gonna take the V Fizz Cannon and put it in my weapons folder. If it asks you to replace it, click yes to all. There you go. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped you just a little bit. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm sorry for the little mishap. That's why I re-uploaded this video. But anyway, yeah, thank you. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a beautiful day or night, whatever time you watch this. Peace. Bye.